Hey guys, we're going to compare uh, EcoBoost versus naturally aspirated engines and why I would never buy one of these uh, EcoBoost. Um, okay, so here's the uh, the 2017 EcoBoost. We're going to we're going to look at the 2018 also uh, some of the newer ones, but uh, basically it's uh, uh, here's the for 20 uh, the 2.7 EcoBoost. This is a twin turbo. Um, the the specifications uh, for the EcoBoost is 325 horsepower and uh, at 5750 RPM and 350 pound feet of uh, torque. Um, if, if you look at the naturally aspirated, the the 3.3, 3.5. So the 3.3 is 2018 and up, uh, is, is uh, 290 horsepower, 265 pound-feet. Uh, it's it's uh, not that much lower uh, than uh, the EcoBoost. And the, the mileage is basically the same. Uh, you got 19 city, 25 highway. This one is uh, 20 city and uh, 26 highway. Um, and this is for 4x2. For 4x4, it would be even worse. Uh, so the mileage is basically the same. So what are you really getting except a, a tiny bit of more horsepower uh, if the mileage is the same in, on, on the smaller, more complicated engines? Uh, uh, this is a twin turbo. They're using something called uh, Borg Warner KO3 uh, turbos. Uh, which is uh, they can go up to a hundred and seventy thousand rpm uh, a 15 psi boost and uh, i've read that they're designed to last just a hundred and fifty thousand miles uh so if if uh, if you want to keep it that long before your engine breaks down then uh, that's fine but uh, uh that that's if you get a hundred and fifty thousand miles from it a normal engine can go easily up to a million kilometers so so here's for a 2017 some of the mileage numbers um, that's 11.6 uh, liters for 100 kilometers combined so this is a three and a half liter v6 naturally aspirated it says 24 miles per gallon uh, so that that's very very good uh this is the one i have i also can easily get 12 liter for 100 kilometer like uh if i if it was on the highway it can get uh easily nine or ten liters for 100 kilo, uh, 100 kilometers uh, so here's some of the the newer ones uh this one's 2018 uh, 2018 and there's some newer ones here uh, 2020 super duty f-150 um, if you ask me my opinion is that this is a this is kind of like a scam uh, because these engines um, they're 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 like basically designed to fail uh, the reason why I say that is because if they're if they're designed for only hundred and fifty thousand miles uh, like that's if you even get that much uh, basically f uh, the people who make these things they're just like any other corporation and every part that breaks down on here for example these turbos they're the ones who are gonna be selling you the turbos they're the ones who are gonna be uh, installing in most cases those turbos and uh, you're, you're going to be out of warranty when they do break down. So you're, you're the one who's going to be uh, paying for that. Because uh, th these things will break down. Uh, like 170,000 RPM, I think this is the maximum. But uh, that, that's a crazy amount of RPM. Uh, and it's going to cost uh, about you know $1,500, they're, they're saying on the internet to replace the the turbo assemblies 
So you're, you're going to be paying for that. Uh, there, in my opinion, there's no need, there's no reason to buy these engines with the turbo if you can just buy the V8 or the V6. It doesn't make any sense. Like you're going to get a uh, more, a little more horsepower, or towing or whatever, uh, you know, uh, capacity. But uh, it, it, the base, the base, uh, the base engine that's included with it is already giving you enough uh, capacity. So uh, here's the uh, the the three and a half liter. This is for 2017. It's 282 horsepower and 253 pound feet of torque. So this is the one I have. I carry easily 1,200 pounds in the bed, and you you, really, uh, you don't even feel it in the bed uh, because the, there's there's more than enough power in, in that engine. Uh, at two at all this uh, you know these high 250 pound feet of torque to uh, to pull the load and the 3.3 they made even more powerful is now uh, 265 pound feet of torque and 290 horsepower and with this you don't have any turbos that uh, is like a like a time bomb waiting to uh, break down that's going to inconvenience you when when they have to replace these turbos it just doesn't make sense to me why anyone would want want these uh these turbos these eco boost here see also the 10 speed this is brand new i think for 2017 i don't know what anyone would want this this is for eco boosts uh, if you just buy a base engine, you're not going to have to deal with these new 10 speeds that are already having like problems. Uh, here's a, this is a 2017 information. So it's showing you the, the three and a half, the EcoBoost and the five liter. So if you could just get this five liter, it makes n not really any sense to get this EcoBoost. It's it's a smaller engine. It, it can't it can't even haul as much. Uh, apparently, the V8 can even haul more weight in the bed. But here's the just the base engine. So they know that these EcoBoosts, they're going to break down and you're going to have probably be going to them to fix it. And they're, they're going to be making the money while you're out of warranty paying for this this new uh, new designed transmission, 10 speed, and this new Eco, these new EcoBoosts. So if that's what you want to do, that's your choice. Alright guys, uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.